Hello, this is Mrs. Forehand. I'm the school counselor at West Elementary, and I'm here to read Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns Too Much of a Good Thing is Bad, and the author is Howard Binko. This book has helped me remember to keep balance in my life during this period of time. I hope it helps you too. Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns Too Much of a Good Thing is Bad. Happy birthday, Howard B. Wigglebottom, shouted Uncle Joe as he brought a big double fudge chocolate sun brownie sundae. Yum, Howard's favorite. It was seven in the morning and I can't have too much of a good thing. He thought it is my birthday after all and I deserve a special breakfast. But after he ate it all, his tummy started to rumble and moan and groan. Oh my, said Howard. He had no idea something so good could make him feel so bad. Howard, it's time to get ready for school, his mother said. Here are birthday treats to share with your friends in class. Howard looked inside the bag Yum, bubble gum, my favorite, he said. This is definitely a good thing, as he popped one into his mouth. One wasn't enough to even blow a baby bubble, so he decided two might be better, maybe many more. Can't have too much of a good thing, he thought. Before long, Howard had stuffed the whole bag of gum, bubble gum into his mouth. He couldn't talk. His mouth was so full of gum that when the nicest girl in class asked if she could walk with him, all he could do was mumble, and no words came out. Oh, never mind, she said, and walked away. Howard walked by a balloon vendor on the way to school. How perfect, he thought. It is my birthday after all. I should have a balloon. He started to take one, and he thought, one might be nice, maybe two, maybe many, many more. Can't have too much of a good thing. When the man asked, how many, Howard mumbled, Move. 83 balloons later, Howard's feet were no longer on the ground. He was flying. This is so cool, Howard thought. I'll let the breeze take me to school. That will be a good thing. Just then, the little breeze became a big wind and carried Howard high over way past his school. He got a little worried. How will I ever get back? He wondered. Oh, here comes a goose. Maybe he can help. That will be a good thing. Oh my, there were hundreds of geese flying toward his balloon. Pop, pop. Howard was getting hot and tired. Then he felt a raindrop. Oh, how nice. A little rain to cool me down, he thought. That will be a good thing. But it wasn't just a little rain. Howard was in the middle of a terrible storm. He couldn't tell the thunder from the balloons popping all around him. Howard tried to yell for help, but his mouth was so full of gum that once again only came out. Then Howard looked down and saw his mom on a fire truck ladder and lots of people. Let's go and land on the trampoline, shouted his mom. He was really scared. Just do it, everyone yelled. Howard closed his eyes, counted to three, and let go. On the way down, Howard decided to practice a few flips. One was good, two might be better, maybe many more. Can't have too much of a good thing, thought Howard. Then, curse flat, he landed on the trampoline. But soon he found himself in his mother's arms, and that was definitely a good thing. Hours later, he was safe and warm at home. I baked your favorite carrot cake, said his mom. 
Because it's your birthday, you can have as many pieces as you like. Watch TV and play games for as long as you wish tonight. Howard thought, hmm, maybe one, maybe two, or maybe many more. But Howard thought again. Howard had learned his lesson for the day, after all. Too much of a good thing can turn into a bad thing. Mom, he said, one piece of cake and an hour of TV and games will be enough. Thank you. Good for you. Happy birthday, birthday, Howard. So I hope we're all finding a little balance and remembering too much of a good thing is bad. Have a good night. Bye.